Well, the weather forecasters promised us an agreeable day for football, and that's exactly what we've got. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And we have more live action from the pre-season third group stage for you to look forward to. It's Newcastle United against Sevilla. Well, both these teams will be looking for a strong finish to the group stages here today in what has been a really good tournament so far. But certainly the quality of the football has been excellent. Just hope that's the case again today. And the match begins. A look at the starting 11 today. Well, they're going to play with two wingers in this 4 3 3 formation. So they need to switch the ball quickly and get crosses into the box. But they also need to get at least two midfield players making runs into the penalty area. That's a must. First of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place, but give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure.
they make passing look easy. And now Suso. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. Just watch this again. It's a really good goal, but it's no surprise, is it? They're feeling complete control here. Well, that's not a happy manager. He knows he's got a lot of work to do now. So, 2-0 now. Harvey Barnes. Tonali with it. Joe Willock. Sven 
So the whistle then, we're up the halfway stage in this match. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, he's been brilliant. He finished his goals really well. He's shown a great awareness of how to find space. And his movement has caused them all sorts of problems. Surely he'll get his hat-trick in the second half. And the ball is rolling again. And Newcastle left with a mountain to climb here in the second half. Can they respond? Here it is again, and it's a superbly weighted through ball to break that defensive line. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Well, he knows his team haven't been good enough in this game, but how does he change it? Substitution time it is here. Have another look at this because he does really well to pick the right pass here and from there he never looked like missing that's a lovely goal a lopsided contest 4-0 30 minutes left for play and they've given him too much space Good effort, but he's placed it wide. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture.
Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. And it ends in real disappointment for Newcastle in terms of the scoreline. What did you think of their overall performance? Oh dear, Gary. That was a worrying display. They were completely outplayed in almost every department. The coach has got a lot of work to do before the next game. But it just seems that this game, he's been a step ahead of his opponents in every way, Stuart. Well, his movement was brilliant today. Whether he was running in behind or dropping into pockets of space, he caused all sorts of problems. What a good hat-trick that was.
Thank you, guys. We'll be taking some questions now. Apologies if you couldn't ask a good question. Thank you very much. Match day is upon us. Fans are pouring into the stadium. Anticipation has reached an all-time high. All the action here on EA TV. And so the battle commences. <laughs>
ball. He always looked in control, didn't he? That's a brilliant goal. Well, disappointment, anger, frustration. Whatever is going through his mind, he needs to get his team going again here. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1.
Rodgers. Well, here it is again. He hits this so sweetly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant goal from a top-class player. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 to the scoreline. personnel change at this juncture now back underway here and they've split the four goals between them so far Bruno Guimarães
to go the distance, and it has, so a penalty shootout is next. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. And he's denied them from the spot. And confidently converted. And he steps up to take his penalty. And the keeper makes the all-important save. What a big moment. Job done from the spot. And he scores. Mental preparation is such a big part of this. And it's gone in. You want a pressure cooker? This is it. He must score. And there it is. Perfectly executed. Well, it's quite straightforward. Score, and it's over. And it goes down as the final act in the drama. The celebrations can begin. Well, of course, we look at the team that's won, but it's also tough on the side that loses these games. They played their part, that's for sure. Incredible scenes here. They'll certainly be hoping for bigger and better successes in the near future, but they're certainly going to enjoy this moment. Yeah, it doesn't matter what the competition is. You still want to get into that winning habit, and they've done just that. So they pass the test, and that will certainly be helpful with future examinations in mind, Stuart. Well, these are always nice moments for the players going to lift the trophy. And it's always good to win that first trophy. And time for the winners to enjoy the moment. The first piece of silverware, and they'll hope, Stuart, the first of many. You're absolutely right. They do need to enjoy this. It's a good victory but they now have to focus on the challenges ahead. It's going to be a big season for them. Well, we know how hungry they are for success. Well, hopefully, Derek, a taste of things to come. For now, the players are allowed to be more carefree. It's party time. Yeah, there's a lot of hard work ahead, and the players know it. But at the moment, they're full of the joys of spring. Hi there, I've just got a couple of questions about the match. That'll be all, thank you. 